Hey guys, what we have here is a fan that hasn't been under the spotlight in many years. This is a Mastercraft 14 inch high velocity fan from 2015. And uh, the last time I made a video of this fan was I think around five years ago in 2017, which was when I got this fan. And uh, I think I made two videos on it. One was a really short one and the second one was kind of a usual video that I do, kind of presenting the fan, but uh, that video was pretty low resolution because I used to upload in like 360p, which looking back is pretty crazy, but uh, it's returning under the spotlight once again in 1080p, and it's a long overdue video, that's for sure. And so far it's been a good fan um, during the times that I've used it, which honestly is not very often, but when I do use it, it does the job. And the reason why I don't use it very often is whenever I think I have the right job for this fan, there's usually another fan that can do the job even better than this fan, if you know what I mean. So I just haven't been able to use this fan very often because there's always another fan that can do a better job than this. So as a result, it's been mostly just sadly kind of collecting dust in my uh, storage area. But uh, I have used it a few times and it's been... A good fan. It's a three-speed fan. It's pretty quiet for a high-velocity fan. I get, I gotta give it that, but uh, it's not the best performer, and that's probably the reason why I just don't use it very often. This is probably one of my favorite visual aspects of this fan, the badge. I don't know what it is, but I love these little holes that are punched around it. It just gives it a nice, almost like a, like a steely rim look to it, if you know what I mean. It's got the the holes on it, if it had like lug nuts. <laughs> that would, honestly, if the Mastercraft logo had lug nuts in it and they printed on there, that would have been like a really cool um, match for this badge, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's got aluminum blades, which are quite large in size and area, decent pitch too. And the limiting factor on this fan is the motor. It's undersized, and it just doesn't go very fast, so as a result, these blades are not really running at their full potential. But I think that was kind of the point, because uh, I think if they had a larger motor in it, it would have been more expensive. And uh, at the time, this fan was quite affordable. I remember when it was in production, which unfortunately, I don't think Canadian Tire sells this model anymore, but I remember about maybe six or seven years ago when they were still being sold, these were about $40 Canadian, which honestly is not too bad of a deal for a 14 inch HP fan. So in terms of price, it was okay. And the general opinion based on what I've seen, like reviews and stuff, it was pretty positive if I remember correctly. Oh yes, here, okay, this is probably my biggest complaint with this fan. Check out the stand, the size of the stand with respect to the size of the fan. It doesn't extend very far back, and as a result, it's very prone to tipping over, especially when it's running on carpet. Yeah, it's not very stable, and especially on high speed, a little bump will knock this fan over, which, uh, which, which is a pretty big downside in my opinion. One of the reasons why I haven't, I think I mentioned that in my first video, but that's the reason why I haven't been using in a whole lot. One thing they could have done is maybe maybe bend these uh, this part more forward, so at least you get a little bit more rear support from the stand, but I don't know. I guess it could be done if you really want it to, but there's the information sticker, 0.42 amps, made in 2015. No mention of the manufacturer, it's a push button style, which I thought was interesting. It's got a little motor in it with accessible bearings on both front and back, which is kind of neat. It's not sealed off. It's got a grounded cord. Um, it's got clips on the grills. And overall, it's a, this is a actually pretty popular model. Um, it was also sold um, under the Cool Works brand name. It might be still sold, still selling today at uh, Princess Auto. 
not really sure, I'll have to check on that, but uh, yeah, there it is. We're gonna give it a test. Here it is on speed one, which I think is low. Haven't used this fan in almost, I think almost three years. The only times this fan has ran was in the fan collection videos. <laughs> I might end up letting this one go sometime in the very near future, who knows. Because I do want to clear up some space in my storage, and uh, the only way to do that is uh, to get rid of some fans that I don't really use very often. So there's low, it's uh, not a bad performer because it's so quiet, but uh, just compared to the general standards for high velocity fans, it's, it's not very good. I've seen, you know, 14 inch fans that perform way better than this. Of course, you know, at the cost of noise, but for the noise level, it's not bad. Let's see how the balance is like. misaligned but it does run fairly smooth there's a little bit of shake but not the worst I've seen pop it onto medium it's got a reasonable difference in the speeds which I do appreciate Here's high speed. So even at full power, it's not very powerful. I feel like a 14 inch oscillating fan could outperform this potentially. I can guarantee you a 1990s super fan that I have, a 12 inch fan, easily moves more air than this. Probably quieter too. But all in all, it's not a bad fan, especially if you're looking for something other than that's a bit quieter. What I've been using it for mostly back in like the first couple of years when I had it was uh, for drying stuff. After I wash it, just hang it up to dry and this fan would be uh, helping them dry faster. And it was pretty good for the job. We'll check out the spin down time. If I recall correctly, it's not the greatest, but it's uh, not bad either. It's not that bad. I do remember oiling this fan when I got it five years ago, and I, I might have over-oiled it to a point where it was actually leaking oil at the bottom. Ah, my early days of collecting. So anyways, guys, that is the 2015 Mastercraft 14-inch high-velocity fan. Um, I honestly can't guarantee that this fan will ever show up in a video again. I might end up getting rid of it, but... Uh, We'll see what happens. So anyways, that's going to be for this one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.